We've been speaking about the Kohens, the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, and the regular Kohens, when they are allowed to do their service in the Holy Temple. Today we learn a mitzvah about various off-limit areas in the Temple, the ho for all of the Kohens and also for the high priest. The Holy of Holies is called the Kodesh HaKadoshim, the place where the Ark is kept, place of great holiness. We're told in the Torah that only a high priest is to enter this room, only on Yom Kippur, and only for specific jobs that the Torah tells him to do. He's not to enter for any other reason, and certainly not on any other day of the year. A regular Kohen is only allowed to enter the temple sanctuary called the Heichal, if it's for the purpose of service in that room. This would include lighting the menorah, offering the incense, or prostrating himself to Hashem. Another mitzvah that we learned today is that if the Kohen is in the middle of doing his service in the temple, it is forbidden for him to leave in middle. We've spoken a few times, and we're going to speak at more length as we get on further in Project 613, about different kinds of ritual impurity. If somebody comes in contact with a corpse, various discharges, etc. We learn a couple of mitzvahs on this topic when it comes to entering the temple. Anybody who any any Jew who is richly impure is to be is not to, is not to enter the enter the temple, and a negative and a, also a positive mitzvah that they are to be sent they to be sent away from the temple if they if they are richly impure. When we say the temple, we mean all the way, including the temple courtyard, all the way until the Nicanor Gate. There's an added um, the, an added prohibition for a uh, for for somebody who is richly impure. Unless it's rich, unless it's impure from being in contact with a corpse, any any other kinds of ritual impurity, they're also not allowed to enter the Temple Mount, the Harabais. Thank you for watching.